in light of recent news that Hasbro and Netflix is developing a Power Rangers reboot, there's going to be a season 30 of Power Rangers and even David Jones' own Power Rangers Quantum Continuum, someone decided to ask Jason David Frank, who played Tommy in the original Mighty Morphin Power Rangers series, what's going on? Hey, welcome back to the Ping Pong Flicks. My name is Chris Wong. Now, there's a lot of rumors and news going around about the next Power Rangers reboot from Jonathan and Twistle, season 30 of Power Rangers. Also, David Jones, who's still working on Mighty Morphin Power Rangers Quantum Continuum, which is a continuation of the original Mighty Morphin Power Rangers. Now it's being revealed by Jason David Frank, who played Tommy in the original Power Rangers series, on his thoughts about the reboot. Any update on David Yu's reboot? There is no reboot. There is no reboot. The rumors are rumors. There's nothing going on. I have not heard. So first off right there, it is quite interesting that a fan would ask Jason David Frank about the Power Rangers reboot, when essentially the Power Rangers reboot is a reboot. It's not a continuation of the original Power Rangers or any Power Rangers. It's a reimagining of a new Power Rangers series that would not include any of the original actors. So that's something very much that he probably wouldn't want to be associated with because he's not part of that process. He'd probably want to be a part of that, maybe even have a say in that. And he would probably be upset just like Amy Jo Johnson who did back in February 17th of 2022 um, can I just say I think it's really dumb if the new Power Ranger universe doesn't use or acknowledge the OGs just saying Power Rangers can I get an amen Mighty Morphin Power Rangers in fact a fan also asked David Joseph about the reboot as well when you going to do the Power Ranger reboot this is Javier Jr. 90 uh, when am I going to do the Power Ranger reboot I I don't even know what that is. Uh, you know, there's lots of talk and speculation of a Power Ranger. I, I've, I've been creating my own Power Ranger reboot, uh, uh, Mighty Morphin, well, just Power Rangers, well, I call it Mighty Morphin Power Rangers Quantum Continuum. Uh, I, I, you know, I can only say so much, but obviously I, I believe in my project and uh, I think you guys would believe in the project and that you would like it a lot. I think you would find it very entertaining and, uh, the characters are very well developed, so hopefully uh, it will come to uh, fruition. I'm working on it, okay? So even David's like, I don't know anything about this reboot, but I do know about my Power Rangers Quantum Continuum, which is said to be an extension, a sequel, the continuation of the original Mighty Morphin Power Rangers team, which he believes he can still make happen. I believe that he can as well. It just depends on the pitch. And that would likely be a reunion series that David Jones wouldn't mind being part of. But what about Jason David Frank? But right now, I need to move on to the Legend of the White Dragon. I don't want to cover my tattoos. I'm 49 years old. I've done enough for the Power Ranger brand. I love it. But now with situations that happened, I'm sure there's certain people that won't be in a reunion. If there was, I don't know. But all I'm saying that for me, after 30 years, I get to give you a movie that I get to wear that me Bat in the Sun created 10 years ago. It takes about 10 years to get things going, and I never gave up. White Dragon comes out 2023 in March next year, where it's, just, it's like fine wine. It's under the two-year mark, and we're perfect. Movies take two to three years. Um, so I'm going to be looking for that movie, too. So even though Jason David Frank doesn't really want to work on any Power Rangers anymore, he doesn't want to cover up all the tattoos, he's older now, and he wants to concentrate on White Dragon, he does say that if there's an if there that could happen, then, you know, there's something to talk about there. But at this point in time, Quantum Continuum seems like it hasn't been greenlit. But that also calls into question about Season 30. Now, David Joseph has not talked about a season 30. Amy Jo Johnson shot down season 30. And doesn't look like Jason David Frank knows anything about that. But interestingly, according to the rumors, Jason David Frank was not one of the Rangers that was called back to reprise their role. And only the original four Rangers. And yeah, it's very much dependent on all of them coming back, including Austin St. John, which right now he is in a little bit of hot war, but he seems very confident he can win that legal battle. 
and he does say in that live stream that he does have many projects in the pipeline. I have a million other things that I would be happy to talk to you about, all of my projects. Um, I am moving ahead with so many things. Could one of those projects be season 30 or anything Power Rangers related in terms of movies or series? Who knows? So there are at least two things that we really know about. David Yost is working on and writing and probably pitching his old Mighty Morphin Power Rangers Quantum Continuum, which is a continuation series from the original Mighty Morphin Power Rangers series. And the second thing is that Jonathan Twistle, or whoever is going to do that Power Rangers reboot, is indeed a reboot. They called it a reboot. They talked about a reboot. If They talked about it being an original team, an original series. That's all been confirmed by the trades. So that has nothing to do with any of the current Power Rangers. The mystery series is season 30. We're still waiting for Hasbro's confirmation of what that is going to be. Well, what do you think about Jason David Frank's comments about not coming back for Power Rangers? Share your thoughts in the comments down below.